Hi everyone. Um, as we have learned in our previous video that how the entire linked list works and what is its anatomy of entire linked list and everything, each and every aspects of uh, diff, uh, linked list. Also, we have seen um, what we call is array and uh, linked list, the difference between both of them. So today, uh, as I said and promised you that I will show it to you how to run a linked list step by step. So I'm just going to drag and drop uh, certain things from over here. Okay, so this is my editor that I'm going to use it for you people. And I'm going to type uh, the entire program step by step so that you can see it. So I'm just going to type in uh, what we call a C program. As usual, we know that uh, C program always starts with hash include stdr.h and also hash include cornio.h. Um, I'm sorry, Linux won't support cornio, so I'm just going to type standard lib.h. Fine. Uh, the second most thing that I would like to type is I'm going to use a struct node as per whatever I said in the PPT. Um, struct node. I'm just going to over the entire node over here, semicolon, and then I'm just going to create standard integer data and struct node star next. This star stands for the pointer as we have seen it, and this pointer will um, also may contain the address of another node or it may contain the null value as per our requirement. It's going to be uh, flourished fine just a second so in that context uh, the um, uh, most important function in C program is main function which I'm going to type it over here and then in main function I'm just going to create a node that is head node fine uh, its value is null I'm just going to copy this thing so as to make my work easier just going to create four nodes that is uh, the first one is head the another one is uh, second node that's the third one is uh, third node and the fourth one is fourth node because and as per in our ppt we i have created four nodes in it so i'm just going to create four nodes over here so as to remove the confusion fine um, okay so i'm going to the second most thing is you need to declare the variables i'm just going to type it over here declare the variables fine after declaring it uh, as we have seen that here it's a null value present over here so we need to assign a memory location to it also so i'm just going to type head and with head i'm just going to type struct node star why I have written over here struct node star it's because um, the entire node uh, the user defined data type is struct node so I'm just going to tell the compiler that you have to occupy the memory space of whatever the memory space this user defined data type actually occupies so I'm just going to typecast it and malloc function uh, for um, assigning some me uh, memory location over here and uh, I'm just going to type size of and um, struct node fine. so this size of function will return the size of the struct node which is uh, which which will actually uh, be served as a argument for this malloc function and this malloc function will occupy the specific space in address in RAM or in memory and after that, uh, the entire node is getting typecasted to struct node and is given to head. Fine. So the memory location, the flow, entire flow is going to work in this sense. I'm just going to type second variable, but this syntax will remain the same for second node also because we just want to um, allocate some memory um, the and fourth. Just going to type it over here fourth so as to correct the entire grammar okay so here it is so this is declaration of the variable this is memory allocation of the variable as you can see fine 
and after that we just need to assign some values to it it's very simple uh, head you can see in head uh, this is a pointer right now because we have already declared this pointer this is also pointer this is also pointer and this is also pointer so it, this pointer will be uh, pointing to some memory location and at that memory location some integer data value we can initialize it so I'm just going to uh, tap it data one for second I'm just going to tap it data two for third I'm just going to type it data three fourth I'm just going to type data four I hope so you are getting this point so this is initialization of variables fine so I'm just go going to assign data in first node fine so this is also common for second node and this is also common for third node I hope so you are getting this point uh, and this is the fourth node it's so simple isn't it fine so after that you can see over here the entire variables are initialized but what about this uh, pointer Bec we need to also initialize this pointer because this head sh node should point to second and the second node should point to third the third node should point to fourth and the fourth uh, next node should point to null variables fine so I'm just going to create that thing over here head of next fine is equal to second so second will be this second variable will be having some address value which is transferred to next head of next fine so you can see uh, this node actually contains data and next both in that context next uh, head of next will be con uh, having some value of uh, address value of second in the similar context I'm just going to type second of next equal to third in the similar context third of next is equal to uh, fourth and also as you can see fourth of next is equal to null fine uh, isn't it very easy to understand uh, fine so this is the entire thing that we have actually proposed it okay so I haven't saved this program so I'm just going to save this program uh, to my what we call is documents and in documents I'm just going to create a folder and uh, just a second. Okay, so I'm just going to create uh, YouTube, sorry, YouTube C program. Fine. Um, in that, I'm just going to. Oops, sorry. Just need to create a folder over here. YouTube. YouTube C program. And in that, I'm just going to type singly uh, simple link list simple link list dot c and save it so you can see the entire colorful motions has also been increased over here okay sorry for the interrupt somebody came over here in my room and just got interrupted anyways uh, as you can see over here the entire uh, program is getting colorful and nice in look I am just using Guinea editor you can see it over here it's Genie editor uh, after that uh, I need to display the entire uh, head node and entire link list which I have created it it's very simple but before that I have just uh, written integer from the main function so also over here I need to return some value whether it be 0 1 or anything that you like it an integer value fine so I'm just going to return it and okay so just fine so it's very simple now I'm just going to display this entire link list in uh, this program so let's display it 
uh, display code is very very easy you can I will love to see this program what I am going to do is uh, I am just going to create a display function and passing the head variable the, this head contains the address value of uh, the entire linked list so I am just going to pass this head as an address variable and uh, with this head I am just going to uh, extract the entire uh, values from the in this linked list so let's do it in that sense So I am just going to create a function over here, display list and then going to type struct node star n star n you can type anything that you like it over here as a variable. So why star n because this head which I am going to pass it from uh, here as an argument contains uh, address value and this address value is being captured by pointer and it's going to store it in uh, pointer itself so there will be no problem in that context fine okay so i'm just going to create a while loop because uh, i'm going to create an iteration over here first the head node will be coming uh, and it will be printing this data and after that the entire head node will skip to the next node that is second node and then third node and then fourth node and in each time it will be going to print this data one by one so as we have seen in the ppt um, i'm just going to create it n is not equal to null fine so i'm just going to perform the <coughs> iteration until n is not equal to null and after that going to print f uh, what I'm going to print f is percentage plus piece okay percentage d comma n is greater than okay so I'm just going to print print data over here and also I'm just going to uh, assign the new value that n is equal to n of next fine so what is this function going to do uh, this uh, line is going to do is uh, in the initial state the head address is passed to this thing so obviously n is not equal to null so it's going to print the data from printf statement and then n is equal to n of next what is n of next from here you can see it uh, it's second so second node will be coming into existence and replacing the value of n and after that uh, it is going to check the condition after checking this condition is going to print n of data and after that uh, once again the iteration is going to n is equal to n of next so that is you can see it over here it will be third node and similarly it will be fourth node and at, at last you can see n is equal to n of next that is null so as soon as n becomes null uh, it will exit out from the loop itself fine so also with a lot of efforts i'm just going to type printf slash n so that my output gets in a clear format so i'm just going to print this also after the entire loop gets ex uh, exited from this thing uh, it will be creating one blank line and then my program should end so it will be very much nicer in that context fine uh, this same program will be working in uh, developer c plus plus or turbo c also if you wish you can uh, run it in that also but I'm right now using Linux operating system so I'm just not going to touch the Turbo C or Developer C for Windows you can uh, have cop uh, copy paste this program in that also and it's going to work but uh, in Developer C plus you will be finding uh, some run like symbol or button over here if you click it on that or build and run on it it will compile for the program but in Linux it's quite uh, in different way I'm just going to do it for you people uh, opening terminal and in that uh, okay not opening directly to terminal I'm just going to just a second okay so I'm going to documents in documents we have created YouTube C programs and I'm just going to right click over here and open in terminal if you do not find open in terminal you can uh, use cd command to reach to your specific uh, folder fine okay so i'm going to compile it with gcc i have already installed in my previous videos also 
okay so I'm just going to simple link list and I'm going to create an object for it that is simple link list fine this is my object so what I'm going to do is compile using GCC command uh, what I'm compiling is this C program which I have written it over here and I'm j telling GCC compiler to create an object file that is the name of the object file should be simple link list fine so uh, uh, please watch it on this screen also as soon as I press enter the icon will be created over here let's see okay so okay uh, there is some error over here let me solve it in this way okay I hope so there is no error in this menu okay so you can see over here uh, the entire um, um, GCC compiler has executed the, uh, in a very nice way and also one more thing executable file has been also made how we can know that it is executable I am just going to show it to you ls minus l you can see executable rights are given to all the levels of arguments so and also it's been in uh, executable color okay so let's see how we can execute it dot slash s capital and tab uh, after pressing tab uh, it automatically gives me the result output and you can see the output is one two three four if i haven't written this thing fine the execution would have stopped over here and this line would have popped up to me over here so just kept with the safety that uh, it should be in the next line so you can see over here the entire output has been covered in this context also one more thing in printing do not forget to put a space over here or tab over here so as to make a clear output I can show it to you how it looks in tab and the slash t is used as an escape sequence for tab I need to once again recompile it and then I'm just going to click it so you can see the output so I think so I have just made a lot of things clear for you people uh, thanks for watching my video I'm just going to cover the next context in a very fine effective way in my next videos also also I think that you might need to um, you might need this program for your reference I'm just going to show it to you uh, a link where you can find and compile the entire program from website itself so just a second uh, this is the link which I am going to paste it in description also please find this the link from the description if you wish and uh, it will be opening my fiddle from tutorials point thanks to tutorials point that it has done a great and cute work for me so it will open in this way uh, saying main.c is not found so I am just going to close this doesn't matter I'm just going to double click over here and it's going to uh, this is the same code which I have just typed it over here fine so please do refer this code in very effective way and also please do not modify this co uh, source code as it is viewed by many of them just like you so if you want to modify it or if you want to do some experiments in this code please do just copy paste it and uh, run in some different environment of tutorials point so how am i going to run this program is just i'm going to compile this program first you can see it over here uh, gcc the same way which i have did it fine so gcc and it will be creating some c file to me and then i'm just going to execute it so you can see main function uh, main object file has written one two three four fine so i hope so i have just given you the entire program also and this is the same program you can see it over here fine and do watch my videos and do refer my programs also thanks all thank you for watching and if you have any queries or comments please uh, uh, comment me on my video itself thank you also ha huh, yeah uh, do subscribe my videos in the next coming lecture i'm just going to deliver a lot of things for you people thank you all